Ralph Rocco says he was just an Ohio farm boy who could fix things and thought engineering might be a good field to go into. Ralph was right. Today, he is president and chairman of the board of Exodyne, a company he founded more than 30 years ago in Phoenix, Arizona. But Ralph Rocco didn't start out to be a businessman when he graduated from Ohio State in 1958 with both a bachelor's and a master's degree in mechanical engineering. He married Barbara Keyes, also an Ohio State graduate who had attended a rival high school back in Lake County where the two had grown up. The couple headed west where an opportunity came Ralph's way that would profoundly shape his future. And I had a good friend there, I was from out in California, and he said, hey, my, I'm working for STL, and we went to the same church, and so we talked about it, and he says, they'll give me a bonus to find good engineers to bring over to STL, Space Technology Laboratories. I said, here's my resume. Soon, Ralph was working on engines for rockets named Titan and Atlas, rockets that would eventually be used to put Americans into space. But the crowning achievement of his aerospace career was developing an engine that was made famous in 1970 by five words. Uh, you tell me that about. The problem the voice from space was describing was an explosion aboard the Apollo 13 mission, an explosion which knocked out the spacecraft's main rocket and raised doubts as to whether the crew could get back to Earth. But they did return safely, thanks to the engine on the craft's lunar landing module, an engine developed by Ralph Rocco, who is quick to share the credit for helping save the astronauts' lives. And of course, I had wonderful people working around me. Don't kid yourself. Uh, they, they did most of the work, and they're the ones with a lot of the ideas I get credit for, which are, are not deserved, frankly. That would not be the only life-saving work of Ralph's career. He played a major role in finding a way to make cars and trucks safer. We started working on the airbag, kind of something that was automatic. The driver didn't have to energize it, safety or anything like that. Didn't have to push a brake, didn't have to do anything. Anybody hit the car, it would deploy itself all automatically. In the United States alone, airbags have saved tens of thousands of lives since they were introduced in the 1970s. For decades, Ralph Rocco and Barbara, to whom he attributes much of his success, have been generous supporters of Ohio State, where Ralph says he learned many things that have served him well. One of them is the concept of finite elements, that big problems are just many small problems put together. Solve each one of the small pieces, and one day you look up and say, we solved the whole problem. People come in and they say, how did you ever do that? And I said, we just broke it down in small parts and solved each of the small parts. One day we woke up, by golly, we conquered.